Hey all, here are OS Reviews. So about five, six years ago, time really does fly, a company called Parrot came out with a mini RC remote controlled drone called the Jumping Sumo. And it was just a very cool product, had a built in camera. You can even see what it's looking at. Uh, the fact that it's able to bounce, as the name implies, onto different tables and surfaces was definitely quite fascinating. But unfortunately, over the years, it seems like this company just faded a little bit more into the background as they're featuring more conventional drones I can fly now but even back in the day I would say part of the spotlight of this jumping sumo was taken away by their other product that came out alongside it called the rolling spider and that one was a drone that could actually fly but also had these wheels on the sides which allowed it to also climb so to speak up ceilings and even walls and just made it look really cool uh, compared to this uh, jumping sumo that was a bit more of a slightly got less hype and attention at the time. But still, today we're taking a look at a product which is obviously inspired by this mini RC uh, product, really a toy, I would say, called the Bounce Car, and now this one can be found for around $30. However, this cheaper model doesn't come with a built-in camera, so that is one feature that's missing. You aren't able to record video or kind of spy on what the camera is seeing. Still, it can apparently jump up to 31.5 inches. Remote control is using standard 2.4G. It's not controlled via an app on your phone. There's no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, but at this price, it makes sense, I would say. It has almost this fake indent for the camera, even though there's no real lens here, which is a little bit funny. You can also pull apart the wheels. It allows it to spin faster, 360 degrees, up to seven kilometers an hour, which is pretty fast for a small RC car, having this auto balance mode, so to speak, as it is moving around. So a closer look at the jumping car or bounce car itself. The wheels here are actually made of a foam material, so it's not really rubber. That's also an area which feels maybe a little bit cheap, but as long as you're using it in relatively indoors, not too wet conditions, it should still be okay. And again, overall, the body here is made of a polycarbonate plastic, LED lights and accents, and how it's able to bounce using this little prong that springs outwards and when it hits off of the surface it will try and push itself upwards. So it works best on a relatively hard surface. Then we have a charging port there located on the very top. The wheels here can be pushed outwards. It's just a relatively thin piece of plastic but if you do that it's going to be able to again swirl and move in a slightly different direction, has a bit larger of center of gravity. Simple power key located on the very top. Now other accessories that you get here include the charging adapter, uses USB and then has a barrel plug that's pretty slim, plugs into the car, and it takes around 20 minutes or so to fully charge. So not the fastest, but works. And then here's the remote control, which is kind of funny because it almost reminds me of a smartphone, something like an iPhone 5 or 4S, but it works as a controller made out of a polycarbonate plastic. We have forward and back, as well as left and right turn directions, being able to jump. Final accessories actually do include some extra rubber bumpers. So again, the part that is being able to bounce up, that part is rubber. So as you are using it more with friction, it can wear down. So it's nice that they give you a few replacement nibs. And then what's funny about the user manual is they're literally calling it the jumping sumo. Demoing some of the functions, I will say that the sound effects can be a little bit loud, and I wish there was a way to turn them off, but by default, they're going to be activated. So if we move it forward, you can see that it will continue to drive up. We can also reverse. No issues there as far as driving over carpet surfaces. And there's also the ability to what they call walk forward, and it will also play back another sound if we press on this key. Even the process of turning has this sound effect, but it does in fact work in terms of rotating as you can see there. It feels actually fairly precise as far as being able to move it forwards and back. Spinning casts an interesting glow, especially as it's rotating and spinning about. Now for the bounce, again, it will just bounce forward and like I mentioned, it's gonna work best on a hard surface, but here's what it looks like on carpet. So if we press on that, now let's continue the demo, but try it in the collapse mode. So it's a little bit shorter and see what it's like if it spins. It's definitely a little faster there in this motion. The ability to turn itself forwards and back with the click of a key also does seem to work all right. 
So a couple of remarks being that it does indeed jump higher on a flat surface, but it still is a little hard to control exactly where it's jumping, or it doesn't necessarily leap forward, but rather jumps vertically up. So that is one thing to keep in mind in terms of some of the ads, seeing it jump directly, super precisely into a surface in front of it. It's not necessarily the case unless you really play around with it and takes a bit more of training. And it does turn off after a few minutes of inactivity and has a gravity sensor or accelerometer so if you are picking it up, it will flash and the motions won't work. It only will activate when you put it onto a flat surface. So there's a sensor in here. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on look at the bounce car or jumping car. Really the way that it works is exactly the same as in terms of the mechanics as the original jumping sumo from Parrot. It still is a pretty fun remote control car to play around with. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.